Hello, Squirrel Squad. This is what I got done. It's the start of a one row repeat, and I boo booed right there. Being half asleep made me sick. Couldn't figure out how to fix that. So I think I'll put a little flower right there or a little decorative button. Doggone it. But this is the yarn I got out of my. Um, little DIY advent calendar that I made last year and used with good loops. This time it's shapes that looks like sheep G's. And yeah, I still have a tiny bit more to do a row or two. But I wanted to go ahead and put this on. So keep it up. But this was only the first day. <laughs> See, that, it has a lot more in it than you would think for that little tiny skein. We're getting ready to pull another one out. And, of course, I put these in the drawers myself. But, y'all know I don't remember what colors where. And, yeah, they do kind of pop out of the top like that one, you can see. I can't see this one too much. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull it out while I'm not. Well, I may have to look to get it out. Well, these things are crammed in these little tiny drawers. So, yay! Maybe when I put them in, I kind of put them in colors that next to each other would look all right. So, this is going to start out looking folly. This is going to have all, all kind of different colors in it. I just hope I keep up with it. And y'all, this is a one row repeat. Doggone, I meant to bring the pattern in here. I'll try to remember and bring it tomorrow. So y'all know these don't have, they came out of a box of 109 that I think I bought at Hobby Lobby with my 40% off coupon. Because they're pretty steep. But, um, and I bought two boxes not the same box. One is acrylic and one is uh, this one. Caught the mercerized cotton. Not at the same time. I'm sure it was quite a bit of time in between and I'd been eyeballing them forever and I finally just bit the bullet, I guess. But this is just a pretty sort of a bronzy brown. I do wish they had the colors on them. All they've got is uh, numbers like a lot number and then a number. But it's the shapes is how I was taught to say that from a somebody that lives, a, might have been Whisper that lives in the Netherlands. I want to say it's a Dutch word, but I could be wrong. Who cares? Anyway, that's what it is. <laughs> and it's from this... Uh, line or whatever that they have katana and it's the mercerized cotton and there's like 27 yards in that you wouldn't think it would you but look how much it did and i'm still not finished i still have enough to do maybe two even three rows of this one row repeat little lacy's gonna be just a little accent scarf Probably for somebody else if I don't make any more boo-boos in it. Made me sick I made that boo-boo right there. But like I said, I can cover it up. I couldn't figure out how to get it done without goofing it up some more. How to get it fixed. So, I can fix drop stitches. But when it's the pattern, and I don't know. Anyway, like I said, I could put some... A cute button or something right there or a little flower or something probably would be more inconspicuous blend then but anyway so this was number one's yarn December the 1st and my vlogmas and my advent calendar is just the same thing I just I wasn't gonna do vlogmas but then I thought, well, I'm opening my advent calendar. and Maybe I can just call that Vlogmas. That might be a crappy Vlogmas. <laughs> I've never done it before. And would y'all look at this. 
is the beautiful sweater and it fits like a glove miss jeanette i hope you're watching miss jeanette maxwell made this and sent it to me along with the beautiful cowl that i'll be wearing i know it's folly colors which i love in with my christmas stuff so when i come on live today i'll probably be wearing something that goes with the background but i just wanted to show miss jeanette i love it and when i'm not on my live i'm wearing this because it's so nice and warm and i just feel like it's a hug for miss jeanette so <laughs> wow i didn't put my earrings on but anyway this beautiful i'm calling it a bronzy brown i'm just gonna add it to this and I don't even know. I guess that's the front. Looks pretty good on both sides, except for where I goofed. <laughs> and I was supposed to do it on even bigger needles, and I told y'all I was going to use my furls, but they would have been absolutely too big. They were size 10. And this yarn called for a size... Uh, 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter and these are size fives but the millimeter I don't even know if it's on here or not let's see these are clovers little clover straights size five so this is a 3.75 so really not much just a tad over what I was supposed to use and the um, the pattern tells you to use a much larger one to make it lacier but I kind of like it like this I think that's lacy enough anywho I think the pattern was free and I'll try and remember to bring it tomorrow when I show you this add it on to it y'all pray for me that I can keep up I want to make Laura Mad Mimi proud. <laughs> she did. Law, she kept up with about three advent calendars last year and making stuff for me to on. Keep up with the one I made. <laughs> one of these days, I'll run across that partially done scarf. and Who knows? Maybe get it finished. <laughs> You put my little sign up here, and we'll just use it for our ending sign, too, because it's got the be sweet, don't be ugly, minus the apostrophe that I couldn't find in my bag of letters. And somebody told me that I, could, I was, was going to put a hyphen here to separate this from the be sweet. And I forget who it was. said, put a tic-tac in there. That would work perfectly, and I keep forgetting to pick up tic-tacs. Maybe I can just take a little sliver of one and stick it there. <laughs> or we just won't worry about it. And we know that an apostrophe goes there. I could find fault with anything. It's a teacher in me, I reckon. The lights are on. Can you see? I didn't turn the lamp on and hoped the Chromebook wouldn't do that crazy flashing thing that it sometimes do, does. I think this looks so good, too, with my little olive colored top. Let me try to stand up so y'all can see. And Miss Jeanette can see how her sweater fits on me. It has a tie right here. And there's a little black that it goes over. And I haven't had it in a bow earlier or just a nice looking knot and then then it's not now but whatever but it goes down behind my bum so oh hey y'all see how thick i am but it goes it's beautiful it's exactly like she made it that i was right there uh you know, getting measured for it or whatever. So, Miss Jeanette, you did a fantabulous job. And I love it. I would just want you to know why I won't be wearing it on my lives. It's just because of the background. I'll be wearing my 
two two Christmas sweaters. One Christmas sweater and what what it and just Christmas colors over and over again. But haven't made it to Goodwill yet. I've got to get there because I've got to have a coat coat. But Miss Jeanette, know that in the den where I do all my work and where I am for ninety nine percent of my day. Maybe 90. I don't know. Whenever I have a life. But, um, that I'll be wearing this while I'm working. It is so feels so good. So nice and warm. I thank you so much. And thank you for the yarn too. And thank you all for watching my little. Advent. Box number two. Happy December 2nd. And to show you what I did. Yesterday and last night on this and a wee bit this morning. I was trying to get it all done before I came in here. And I said, ah, I'll go ahead. That's just a little tiny bit more. So, hoping when I come on tomorrow I'll have all this on here. But we'll see. <laughs> I might come on every day with a little bit. But, hey, if that's the worst of it, I'll be doing good. All right, well... Not a very long vlogmas, but maybe a little longer than yesterday, but um, that's just what I'm planning to do, calling my vlogmas a, a vlogmas when it's just basically my opening of the of my little DIY that was a tea box, and I made this last year, and I just covered the box, each little um, drawer with uh, duct brand tape, duct tape. I wish I would have done it and found some. Um, this I found on clearance. That's why it's this color. And I had another color too that would have went with this also, but neither one of them were Christmas colors. But I think it's kind of antique looking, kind of Victorian looking. But anywho, I like it fine. Then I don't spend any money on it and use the yarns I've already got. I can just keep up with it and I'll lose my scarf afterwards. <laughs> I love y'all. I will be live at five and I'm getting ready to do my book reading next. Love you bunches. Be sweet. Don't be ugly. I know I showed the sign early, but still. <laughs> Bye.